So it's now time to name the Social Entrepreneur of the Year. Very good. And on behalf of the sponsor, The Venture, is Ambassador Rajiv Day, and with him, former chair of the Asian Awards Judging Panel and Parliamentary Under Secretary of State at the Department of International Development, Baroness Verma of Leicester. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll help you with the pronunciation next time. <laughs> Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, before I um, talk a little bit about the Social Entrepreneur of the Year, I have a message from the Prime Minister um, who wanted to relay a message to you all here tonight. His message is, and I'll repeat it, I'm pleased to support these awards which honour outstanding achievement by the global Asian community. Over the past six years, we have seen many fantastic role models from the world of business, the arts, charities, sport, all honored at this prestigious ceremony. For generations, British Asians have given so much to the UK in so many ways. You play an important part in the UK's economy by increasing jobs, skills, and prosperity alongside your cultural contribution that ensures Britain remains diverse, vibrant, and a country built on tolerance. He wishes the best of luck to all the awardees and nominees, and he wishes you all to have a wonderful evening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure each and every one of you will be very interested to hear about this award for the Social Entrepreneur, Social Entrepreneur of the Year. It's presented to a gifted psychiatrist a dedicated researcher, a successful author of books and academic papers, and an effective communicator on the global mental health agenda and the challenges that this field faces. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a look at some of his work. He is an acclaimed Indian psychiatrist and global mental health researcher. He is Professor of International Mental Health and a Fellow at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. This individual co-founded Sangath in 1996 in Goa, a non-profit and non-governmental organization dedicated to providing care for patients with development disabilities and mental health problems in underprivileged communities. Sangath went on to win the MacArthur Foundation International Prize for Creative and Effective Institutions in 2008. Time magazine dubbed him the well-being warrior and recently listed him among the 100 most influential people. Since 2011, he has served on two Government of India health committees, the Mental Health Policy Group and the National Rural Health Mission ASHA Mentoring Group. So I'm pretty sure some of you are wondering, who is this guy? Um, how is it that a psychiatrist should win the Social Entrepreneur of the Year. And if it had to be a medical professional, why isn't it a heart surgeon? The sort of guy who some of you would probably have seen and feel very comfortable talking about over dinner. Perhaps even a, a cosmetic surgeon. The sort of guy that some of you have definitely seen and may share a few notes about. But I'll tell you what, I think, I think this says a lot about the selection committee. I'd like to congratulate the selection committee for giving the award to a subject which has been neglected and stigmatized in Asia and amongst Asians here in Britain, and that is a subject of mental health. I'd like to, I'd like to dedicate this award to the many individuals and organizations working here in Britain and across Asia who are striving through innovation through compassion to improve the lives of people affected by mental illness, and in particular the organization Sangat, with which I've been associated for the past two decades. I'd also like to thank my many friends and family who've stood by me, especially my friends who are sitting there on table number 34, uh, including my mentors, people I've known for more than three decades, my parents in Mumbai, my son Farai, and my wife Gauri, who has stood by me as a friend and as a lover for more than half of my life. Thank you all.